So Apollo 16 took place in 72. You were the youngest man to walk on the moon. You were 36. That's correct. I was 36, <laughs> and uh, now I'm 83, and I'm still the youngest man that walked on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that'll never change. But that's going to change, I think, real soon. Do you think so? Yeah, I think we're going to go back to the moon. Uh, hopefully next decade. Depends on the budgets and depends on uh, appropriations. The money is the driver, I believe, not the technology. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the money. Well, I'm out there and I said, where's the earth? And I looked down over here and there was a, a, the earth, just a little thin sliver of blue and white. And it was 180,000 miles away down there. And, well, where's the moon? And I've turned around and up here was this enormous full moon about 50,000 miles away. And it just looked like it was overwhelming. But that's all I did was look at these beautiful objects. And the sun was up here and everywhere else was the blackest black you could ever see. And uh, space is black. 500 years from now, there's only going to be one thing that they remember about Apollo, and that's the man landed on the moon. That'll be it. And uh, uh, people have no idea how hard it was, for example, to get the first Apollo mission off. Uh, Apollo 7 was the fifth mission that uh, Wally Schraw, Don Isley, and I were on, and finally we flew in, in Apollo. And uh, so we were very excited, of course, and uh, we're like two little kids at uh, Christmas and birthday, you know, in a candy store, you're, new, uh, you're looking out at this uh, incredible lunar surface. And, uh, but the most amazing thing about it, I felt right at home. So you felt, well, I'm home. I know, I know where to go. I know what's over here. So it was a, a feeling of belonging. Uh, but it was also wonder, uh, awe, excitement, adventure. Uh, best way I could describe it, if you could imagine a five-year-old kid on Christmas and birthday and everything else rolled into one, that was the most exciting moment in my life. It was uh, just an incredible experience. And we never lost that en enthusiasm and that excitement about being on the moon. And so we slept in the hammocks. We'd eaten a meal. And I think we could have gone for a week like that. It wasn't, uh, it was very comfortable. You're one six gravity. You've taken your suit off and you, uh, we didn't have any seats in the lunar module. So you just sort of leaned against something. You didn't get tired uh, except working outside. That was very hard work in a lunar surf suit. So we had 72 hours basically. We'd, we'd wake up. We'd eat a meal, uh, we'd debrief or a brief about the EVA, then we'd suit up, go outside and explore, come back inside and uh, take off our suits, clean up the suits. The only problem is we, we tracked in a lot of moon dust. Uh, but fortunately in zero, gra I mean in weight, it stayed on the, on, the, on the floor. And so it didn't swirl around the spacecraft. But in the future, uh, I believe you're going to need an airlock on the moon because if you track moon dust into your habitation module for two months, you're going to have a real problem. And John and I were so excited and having such a fun time, we didn't want to come back. We've, but we were running out of stuff, you know, oxygen and electrical power. So they made us come back. But uh, it was... Uh, uh, it was something I think I could have stayed at least a week. Je suis ébloui, c'est fabuleux de pouvoir rencontrer des, des gens qui, quand j'avais 20 ans, ont marché sur la Lune. Et surtout de voir qu'ils ont encore, euh, d'abord ils sont en pleine forme physique, malgré l'âge qu'ils ont. Ils ont le sens de l'humour et ils sont tout à fait au courant, de, pas simplement de ce qu'ils ont fait, mais de ce qui va être fait dans le futur. Et ça pour moi c'est éblouissant et c'est extraordinaire, c'est un rêve.
C'est la première fois que je les vois euh, euh, en chair et en os. Bien sûr, je les ai vus à la télé comme tout le monde, mais en chair et en os, j'imagine même pas avoir dans ma vie l'occasion de le faire. Oh, oh, oh.